Hey, what's good family? Got a pretty big week coming up in the stock market this week. So in this video, just wanted to hop in, take a look at the charts, uh, talk about some things that we could see, take a look at uh, what's coming this week. And yeah, just really wanted to tap in, get the week started together. All right. So now without further ado, let's hop in, see what we got coming. Like I already said, this week is going to be a pretty big week. We have all these companies announcing earnings uh we have some economic events and bitcoin is moving as well so yeah taking a look at the economic events tomorrow monday we don't really have anything that we need to look at so hey we'll skip on past that taking a look at it tuesday this one thing is kind of start happening uh you can see we have consumer confidence and jolts job openings uh, these are going to be red folder events, which means uh, you can expect more volatility and for the markets to move. That's happening at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so be on the lookout for that. Then Wednesday, we have another red folder happening. ADP non-farm employment change and advanced GDP. And we also have some orange folders. So starting off, we do have some things occurring that can really move the market so be on the lookout for that going on looking at thursday we got core pc price index employment cost index and we have unemployment claims friday we have average hourly earnings non-farm employment change unemployment rates and ism manufacturing pmi so we have a lot happening this week we're getting a lot of data so be on the lookout for things. We're at all-time highs on the queues. We're at all-time highs on the SPY. So just be prepared for anything to happen. Um, the next thing that we're going to want to have our eyes at is going to be earnings. Now, taking a look at earnings, uh, take, taking a look at what's going on tomorrow, some interesting ones I see. We got Ford, uh, Waste Management. On Tuesday, we got SoFi. We got one of my favorites, PayPal. McDonald's, Pfizer, AMD on Tuesday. That's a that's a big one. That's going to affect some things like Nvidia and other chip stocks. We got Google on Tuesday. So pretty much, let this video be a reminder that there's a good amount of stuff going on this week. Hey, be sure if you don't have a picture of this, hey, take a screenshot. Be sure to there's a page on Instagram, EPS Whispers that post these every week be sure to check that out or just hop in the discord see what's going on but uh yeah going on wednesday we got microsoft meta coinbase Robinhood, carvana amazon uber intel apple all of these companies are announcing earnings this week so there are going to be plenty of trades to be had any companies that you have any convictions on this could be your time this could be your opportunity to get in and capitalize off that and one other thing i want to say about that is earnings i see a lot of people wanting to play earnings wanting to kind of buy calls or buy puts before earnings and i'm gonna just let you know how i do it um, typically options contracts are going to be more expensive coming into earnings than they would be if you got them the morning after they're announced so usually what i find it is much better to wait until after the earnings are announced and then if you think it's going to continue to move up buy the options contract the morning after it's announced you'll get it for a lot less and you'll be able to make much better profit. Same for if it's going to, to the downside. You will still get the push cheaper. And then coming and looking at the charts for Tesla, wanted to quickly come in, look at the chart. So this is the weekly chart for Tesla. You can see, got this trend line kind of coming down that we were respecting to the downside till we kind of had like a little break here. Then we came back down and retested and now it looks like we have a new trend that has formed so we got one touch here we got another touch here and then yeah we came over here we pulled back got our third touch and now we're kind of off to the races so we took out this high over here and now you would expect for the trend to continue my target on tesla is for it to at least come out and take this high 
but yeah just wanted to show y'all this is what tesla looks like on a weekly so i want to say this now i would not be surprised if we got another bullish candle on the weekly coming to take out this high we still have some levels on the way but ultimately i think we're going to come out we're going to take out this 300 level and then you know where what tesla decides to do after that it is what it is you know coming down looking at a lower time frame by no means does it need to make a straight b line to touch those levels but just want to let y'all know that's that's kind of what i see on my radar that's what i'm watching for tesla to do and then one last one i wanted to talk about bitcoin all right bitcoin has been trading in this flag pattern for since march of this year is kind of consolidated and we got the break last week or two weeks ago october 14th we broke this level we got the candle close above here and now we are we we got a second candle above here and now it's kind of like we're pulling back but we're not out of the woods yet to this i say when in doubt zoom out look at it on the monthly and this is kind of how we are if we look at this by a monthly chart uh we came up here made a flag and it looks like we're breaking out right now but we're still waiting on this candle to close so so me i was expecting to move on a weekly but now that i've zoomed out i also want to say this move could take a little longer than i was expecting and i also want to point out that as of right now we do have this trend on the monthly chart that is following this so if we get another candle in the monthly we would expect the bottom for the month of november to be like right here around this 64,000 level so and real quick family just want to take this time to let you know if you're interested and haven't already taken advantage of it be sure to sign up for moomoo using your referral link down below in the description uh, get up to 15 free stocks earn 18.1 apy on all your uninvested cash and get an additional 30 dollar cash reward when you sign up and make a deposit just wanted to put that on your radar but that's going to do it family if you enjoyed the video and learned anything be sure to smash the like button if for some reason you made this far and haven't already be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content be sure to check out the live streams and the mornings at market open and last but certainly not least Thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off and I want to change your life.